Hello everyone and welcome to Nissa's Kitchen. Today I'm making potato pancakes. Please like and share my video and uh, subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. For this recipe, I'm taking two small potatoes. You can take a medium potato, one um, medium sized zucchini. I'm also taking a medium onion and then a small clove of garlic. I will uh, now grate these so I have grated all my vegetables uh, potatoes, zucchini and the onion when I'm grating these things uh, I don't take the skin off uh, from potato or zucchini because the skins actually pack a lot of nutrients and if we take it off then we're getting rid of those nutrients also please grate and not chop the onions because the grating brings out a lot more juices than the chopping wood. Just be careful not to cry. <laughs> um, after that we will uh, strain the zucchini and the potato. They have a lot of water and um, if you don't strain it then the pancake would take uh, a long long time to cook. It will cook but the water would make it uh, very runny and uh, it, would, it would just not be the same. So we would try and um, drain as much water out from the zucchini and from the potato as we can. Right here, um, I'm draining, straining my zucchini and as you can see, there is a lot of water coming out from it. So once my zucchini is done, I went on to use uh, the same cheesecloth that I was using before, just to have on a different side to strain my potatoes. You guys can use any a method to strain the water out. I happen to have a cheesecloth, so I'm using that. Once that is done in a bowl, I will have uh, everything. Uh, um, I will combine everything in it. So I have my uh, potatoes, zucchini, and onion in here. And now I'm going to grate the um, clove of garlic right in here as well. Once that is done, uh, it will look quite pretty on its own, but it's not just ready yet. So I'm going to add salt. Um, I'm adding red chili pepper flakes. You don't need to if you don't like it spicy. And then the main ingredient, one of the main ingredients that we would add is uh, potato starch. You can use corn starch, but um, potato starch, if you can find it, um, that's what the uh, um, original recipes of uh, pancakes usually use, at least from where I've learned from. Um, after that, we will mix it and um, be sure to mix it well because uh, potato starch or corn starch, whatever you have in it, and they're powder form, so it takes uh, time for them to mix well. Once that is done, we are ready to make our pancakes. <laughs> So um, to do that, uh, well grease your pan on a medium high heat and um, just uh, try to um, make the pancake as round as you can using the spoon or spatula, whatever you would be using. Don't make it too thick, uh, it would take too long to cook. Don't make it too thin that it would be crispy. It is a pancake, not as crisp. So just uh, have a medium thickness and uh, once you're happy with your thickness and uh, with the roundness of your pancake, then you would just uh, uh, cover it and um, you would let it cook for a few minutes. Here I added uh, extra uh, oil for more crispness. So um, then I let it cook for two to three minutes and then um, I jerked it around in the pan a little to see it's not stuck to the pan, uh, the bottom of the pan. And uh, now it's time to flip it actually. And I'm not an expert in flipping, so uh, I will be using my trusty plate to flip the pancake. Once it's flipped, you um, try to even it out as best as you can 
using uh, your equipment and uh, then you will cover it once again let it cook on the other side as well all the cooking of this is done on low heat by the way um, not on high heat otherwise it will burn as you can see here it's brown on both sides and it is very chewy the chewiness is coming from potato starch and uh, here is the final product I will be enjoying it uh, with the coconut and um, uh, sorry carrot and apple juice and some ketchup uh, you can enjoy it with whatever you want please like and uh, share my video if you like this recipe and subscribe to my channel uh, don't forget to click the bell icon have a great day